الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله I just arrived in Addis Ababa and when you travel you have the opportunity to reflect on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and it gives you the opportunity for those who are blessed to do so to reflect upon their own status and their own situation because much of the world you'll find is poor impoverished in severe poverty and much of the world uh, struggles in various ways to make ends meet women with multiple children living on the street in some places living in almost like caves and this is around the world we have this in the west we have this in america how many people are homeless so you don't even need to travel. You can just go out. If you live in L.A., you can go downtown L.A. If you live in Seattle, you can go under some of the bridges and other places. And those things should help you to reflect upon the ni'am of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. The great, vast, and many blessings that we have and we receive and that we don't often show gratitude to Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala about. And another great ni'mah min ni'amillah is the fact that you're Muslim. And a part of our goal is to die on Islam. Because when you reflect for those of us who've had a little bit of experience, I can honestly say about 70% of the people from my locality that became Muslim around the same time that I did are no longer even Muslim. They left a long time ago. And I've seen things here in, in my living in Saudi Arabia, I've seen people, I've met atheists, Saudi atheists. I've met people who were Muslim months ago, and now they, they've just totally left Islam, and they are open about it, drinking and eating during Ramadan in the day while the rest of us are fasting, and they are open about it. So... My brothers and sisters, we have to appreciate this ni'mah and don't be envious of other lifestyles. It is Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, Ya ayyu ladina amanu, ittaqullaha haqqa taqatihi, wa la tamuntunna illa wa antum muslimun. O you who believe, Ya yalladhina amanu wa taqullah Fear Allah The true or in, 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 in entirety uh, in, in entirety you know without, without compromising that fear have, have true taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know avoiding his prohibitions and adhering to his commandments And then he subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala tumutunna illu antum muslimun. And do not die except in a state of Islam. So, Ahabatifillah, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal for ikhlas with the bad, ultimately. Because you don't know, one day you could be from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, and the next day you could be from Ahlul Zandaqa, the people of Ilhad. The people who just follow their desires and, and chase sin. The people who even fight Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen and hate Allah tabarak wa ta'ala's servants. Kullu hadha biyadillah. All of it is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that hidayah. 
He is Al Hadi. So make sure you constantly ask him for guidance in ikhlas with the bat. Because our iman fluctuates. And for some, they totally lose iman. Asalallah lil ikhlas with the bat. Lana wa lakum. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.